Let man not seek, good shall fishly. 1 Corinthians chapter 10 and verse 24 Let no one seek his own, but each one the other's well-being. Greater love has no one than this, than to lay down one's life for his friends. John 15.13 This very example of the ultimate act of love brought in the reconciliation between Yahweh and his chosen ones. That's really love beyond measure. While most of the Christians may not be called for such a supreme sacrifice, believers are commanded to love others as a demonstration for their love for Yahweh. The Bible defines our pursuits in Philippians chapter 2 and verse 4. Do not merely look out for your own personal interests, but also for the interests of others. This is huge, as the Bible is clearly putting forward that creation of wealth and asset accusation is not condemned. But the Bible, without doubt, wants all believers not to ignore or forget other fellow believers who are in dire need and want and deprivation. Evidently, believers are urged to the point of compelling them to exercise compassion born out of love as a regular practice, to reach out to others, especially those who are in the household of faith to start with. The world would be such a beautiful place to live in if, if everyone loved and cared and provided for one another, which is so much in the heart of Yahweh. He created Eden for Adam and Eve, but they chose to opt out. Jesus Christ came to redeem the world, but the world rejected him. Yahweh through Christ promises a new heaven and a new earth, a depiction right after the heart of Yahweh, so lucidly portrayed in Revelation chapters 21 and 22 as the ultimate act of togetherness. What could be a better way to love, care and serve others, especially the non-believers, than to give them the truth of the gospel in fulfillment of the Great Commission as enshrined in Matthew chapter 28 and verses 18 to 20. Amen. God commands, let man not seek good selfishly. And that's in 1 Corinthians chapter 10 and verse 24. Let no one seek his own, but each one the other's well-being.